It's a new year. What does it hold for you? I hope you are looking forward to some good happenings for 2024. If not, perhaps this message is for you. Welcome to my podcast, Giving You a Fresh Start After Trauma. I'm Regina Sanchez, your host, and I'm so glad you're here. Starting over after trauma can be a blend of real pain and some hope, sadness, and then some joy. It's a mixture of moments of faith and then moments of fear. There will be times when you'd rather not remember, but then times of excitement. You may fail along the way, but if you keep moving forward, your discouragement will turn to peace. Some days you may feel like giving up, and other days you're running in your race to victory. That, my friend, is a journey of having a fresh start after trauma. And if you are in any of these places and need some encouragement, you have stopped at the right place. Let's journey together to giving you a fresh start after trauma. Join me now to be revived, rejuvenated, and restored to a place of living free from your past emotional pain. Well, Happy New Year, my friends. Thanks for listening in on my podcast, Giving You a Fresh Start After Trauma. I'm so glad you're here, and I hope that my message today gives you joy and encouragement for this new year. It is a a short message, I promise, as I want to just help propel you into a level of hope as each day arises. I don't know about you, but I do enjoy firsts. When I was younger, I always loved the first day of school or the first day of a new job and even the first day of the year. It was a time for me to feel like I could have a fresh start. But what I've learned over the years is that every day can be a first. Even as the minutes change on a clock, you can have a first. So as you move into 2024, what first would you like to have today, this very minute? Have you had a prior year being stressed and overwhelmed with issues in your life and perhaps need some reviving, rejuvenating, or restoring your life so that you can discover how to feel alive, motivated, joyful, and healthy each day? Much of our health is about lifestyle. And if we have dis-ease or ill health, we can start fresh right now and begin making those lifestyle changes to bring you into a place of feeling like you are living again. No matter what you do each day, whether you work outside the home or you manage your home, you should feel like life is good and that you are productive in what you're doing. If you are full of anxiety, depression, lack of peace and rest, or your home or your office are cluttered and unorganized, that only adds to making you feel like living life is a drudgery. What would it feel like to know you were able to have a productive day so that when you rest your head on a pillow, and take a deep breath to get into a restful state of sleep, you can say it was a good day. But if your days are full of anxiety, depression, lack of peace and rest, then I would imagine you struggle with the lack of sleep, which then only makes it difficult to have a productive day the next day. So what's the answer? What are your solutions to start feeling a sense of freedom in your life and a wholeness in your body? What can you do to feel like you are alive in your emotions and in your body and that you move out of the mess that you're living in? Well, sometimes we we need someone to come alongside us to help us see things from a different perspective, to help guide us into a path of freedom so that life feels worth living. Or, you know, sometimes we just need someone to help us get us past that trauma, to get us free from it. Friends, our past does not have to be our future. You know, many people choose to take their life literally because the pain is so bad. But sometimes we take our life by simply accepting the status quo of what's going on. We go through each day plugging along and anxiously waiting for the time to go to bed. Then 
to wake up the next morning only to do it all over again, painfully. And you know, to me, that's taking your life as well, just in a different way. Yeah, you're breathing each day, but you're not living. And that is not a way to live. I can help you by giving you the keys to take your life back and live your life in abundance. When we think of abundance, many times our mind goes to dollars. But abundance means more than provision. It means abundant health, abundant joy, abundant love, abundant peace. So how about you? Let me coach you this year as I will give you a step-by-step strategy on how to move forward in your life and be healed from the pain of any past trauma to help you live abundantly. So what would coaching with me look like? What are some of the things that I would help you do? Well, we would discuss the trauma that you experienced and how it's residing in your body. How is it manifesting in your body? What is it looking like? What is it causing your body to express? Is it headaches? Is it sleeplessness? Is it agitation? Is it anger? You know, the the trauma in my life how it expressed itself for me was in anger. I was angry. I was angry with everyone around me. So we would look at how it's manifesting in your life. We would also discuss the importance of having a spiritual life and how we need to know that there's someone greater than ourselves that is there to help us. I would help you get grounded in the truth that God, your Father in heaven, wants you healed. He wants you well. And I know there's so much controversy on that. Um, You know, God's teaching me a lesson. God gave me this sickness to show me how to slow down. Those are lies. God doesn't give you sickness. As a parent, would you give your child a sickness to teach them a lesson? Heck no, because if you did, you'd be considered an abuser. <laughs> well, our Father in Heaven is, is not an abuser, and He wouldn't make you sick to slow you down. I wanted to give I want to give you the tools to help you live in peace and then teach you how to stay there. We would also discuss um, when you don't have the strength or you don't have the power or you don't have the wherewithal to keep moving forward. The key to help you get there. What is that key? Uh, I, I can never not discuss gut health because our guts are so important to our emotional stability. So we will have a week of discussion on your gut health and its ties to anxiety, stress, and depression. I'd also give you a tool on how to get wisdom so that you could keep moving forward. How to get wisdom from the creator of the universe. We'll also have a week discussing shame. Shame is a big part of people that have been traumatized or abused. You know, shame is not, it's it's not when we feel guilty about something. It's when we feel bad about ourselves. And that is not a way to live. I lived that way for a number of years, feeling bad about who I was as a person. We'll talk about forgiveness and the importance of forgiving others. Not saying it's easy. Forgiveness can be hard, but it has to be a choice and a decision that we all make. But it's something that is doable with the grace of God. And then having a renewed mind, teaching you how to start thinking differently and how to stop having those negative confessions and also... I want to teach you to understand what is your calling? What is your destiny? Are you living in that? Are you walking in that? Because if you're not, then life's going to be hard and you're never going to be fulfilled. You're going to always be searching for something better. And you might be searching in all the wrong places also. You might not even realize that because you're not walking in who you were created to be, But you don't even realize that because you're just used to working day in and day out, going to work, coming home, going to work, coming home. But if you're not fulfilled and it doesn't bring you joy, then perhaps you're in the wrong profession or you're doing the wrong thing. 
So we're going to take take some time to help you uncover what is that destiny that God has created for you to be. And lastly, many times we're in a battle. We need to know how to fight that spiritual battle. I'm not talking about physical battle. I'm talking about a spiritual battle. And I'm going to teach you how to be victorious in all of that. So it's 12 weeks full of wonderful information, uh, wonderful tools to help you begin to live life again. And if you want even more information, there's a link below that you can click to um, read more about my life coaching program. And let's start with a, a, a quick chat, a free 30-minute a free call. You, you want to make sure that we can work together. Um, you want to make sure that you trust your coach. That's, that's critical. And so there's a link below that you can click to have a free 30-minute uh, conversation with me. Because for this year, friends, I want to be your spiritual life and health coach. I want to help you have that victory. So please, just it, it starts with a phone call. Actually, the first step is making a decision that you want to change the things in your life. And then the second thing, the second um, step is to just let's, let's chat. No, no pressure, no obligation, um, but let's just chat. So lastly, just as I close this message, I just want to say if someone forwarded this message to you, uh, this podcast to you, and you would like to receive my messages or receive my emails and become part of Regina's Revivers, there's a link below um, to click to sign on to get my um, emails. And I will send you uh, a PDF on your first step towards your fresh start. And if you have any questions, please just send me your question um, at info at reginasanchez.com. And again, the link is below. But, you know, who knows? Your question may be my next podcast, but I do answer all my emails and I would absolutely answer your question and I will respond back to you. Um, And as all podcasters request, if this message resonated with you, please give it a like and leave a comment on how it touched you, blessed you, or gave you hope. People always love to hear others' stories. And if you want to hear my story and my journey to my Heavenly Father and His heart, click the link below and you can find my book on Amazon. So friends, thank you for taking the time to listen. Um, I did try to keep my message short. uh, So I hope you... um, enjoyed it. I hope it brings you some hope and encouragement to know that there are answers out there and that you don't need to stay in the same status quo that you have been in perhaps for the past few years or number of years. So be blessed, be encouraged, and know that you are loved. God bless. Thanks for listening. Thank you, my friends, for taking the time to listen to my podcast. I hope you found it uplifting and encouraging, and that it guides you to having peace, love, joy, and health in your life. If you would like more information on my coaching programs, then go to my website, reginasanchez.com, where you can see the services I offer to give you a fresh start after trauma. You can also find my book, Can I Have Your Heart, Daddy, on Amazon. It is my personal journey back to the heart of my Heavenly Father. Be blessed, be encouraged, and know that you are loved.